this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader, reading books for you. Today, I will be reading Special Memory by Christina Francine, illustrated by Audrielle Viamizat. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I've included links where me find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mama peeked into the bedroom I shared with my sister. Wake up, sleepyheads. It's too early, I said, and plopped my pillow over my head. You need to get used to getting up early, Mama told me. School starts in a week. I didn't want to start kindergarten because I knew I'd miss Mama and my toys. Mama whispered, you need to get up for the surprise. Becky jumped out of bed. What is it? She asked. Starting second grade didn't seem to bother her at all. Mama hugged Becky and told her not to bother with slippers. I slowly sat up. We're going to make a special memory, said Mama, before she led us down the stairs and out into the garage. Listen, Mama continued. Mother Nature is speaking. It's raining, Becky said. I looked out the window. We should watch cartoons, I said, and never, ever go to school. Mama's eyes caught and held mine a moment before she came over and hugged me. I didn't think you'd want to miss this. The drizzling rain came a little harder and sounded like rice falling on the kitchen floor. After we made our way into the garage, Mama took our hands and pulled us into the rain. Becky and I squealed at first, but the rain felt warm. Becky laughed and stomped in a puddle, making mud squish between her toes while Mama danced. I looked at my pajamas now plastered to my body and forgot a little about school. Then suddenly the rain fell hard. Becky and I jumped and looked at Mama, who gathered our hands quickly and pulled us back into the garage. Later, when we were halfway through our oatmeal, the storm slapped the sky and sounded like the big trees do when Daddy cuts them down for firewood. The lights blinked and went out. Daytime now looked almost like night. The refrigerator stopped humming. The only sound came from the ticking clock and the grumbling storm. When I think back to this day, Mama said in her happy voice, I will smile. You will? I asked. Thunder shook the house again, but I didn't care, and I don't think Becky did either. Special memories help when difficult things happen, Mama explained. Not only do they remind us that good things get a turn again, but 
remembering them gives us strength. Like after a nightmare, Becky asked. Exactly, Mama said. And how do you feel when you think about Daddy or me hugging you after a nightmare? That's easy, I blurted out. We're not as scared anymore. Mama was right too, because on the first day of kindergarten, I thought about dancing in the rain and warm mud squishing between my toes. And like magic, I smiled. The end. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book. Feel free to pause this video so that you can continue reading A Teacher's Guide to Special Memory by Christina Francine. This includes fun weather activities, discussion questions, thematic lessons, a few questions to consider for each illustrator, science, fun weather forecasting and facts, and some more information on weather, fun facts, and, and an activity to make a weather rock. And here is the bibliography. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you again to the author, Christina Francine, for sending me this book and allowing me to read it on my channel. Thank you.